Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a use case related to ScreenFlow. So let's understand the requirement of ScreenFlow first, then I will be demonstrating how you can implement it. So the requirement is upon case creation, assign a task to related account owner. So we will be implementing this through two ways. So in flow, you have an action through that you can create a task and another way is to use a create record element. So let me show you like how does task look like. So if I go to any account record. So here under activity, you can see here we can create a task, right? So if you want to create a task, so you need to fill subject due date name related to assigned to status fields. And if you save it, so task will be created. But now this task will be created automatically with the help of screen flow. So I will be creating a flow through that a case will be created on account and a task will be created under account so that account owner can follow up on that task. So I'm going to create new flow. So flow will be of type screen flow. Now here, first of all, I need to create a screen. So basically we need to identify what are the required fields so that we can receive those from user through the screen. So here you can see we have status and case origin pick list as required. So here I'm going to create a screen. So this screen will be receiving case information. And here I'm going to use a pick list. So its label will be status. It is required. And from here, I need to link this pick list with the status pick list that is available on the case object. So API name is case status case, or it should be case status. Then object is case data type is pick list and field I'm selecting status. Now I'm clicking on done, having one more pick list. So second pick list should be case origin. So labeling it as case origin required. Then again, I am selecting new choice resource as pick list. So API name is case origin, object I'm selecting case, data type is pick list and here, case or reason and done. So this way the screen is ready to receive status and case or reason for the case that we want to create. Now I need to create one resource as variable and API name will be record type. So I will be placing this flow on account record page. So from account record page, the account ID will be available on this record ID. So for that purpose, you need to enable this checkbox like available for input. So this variable can receive input from outside the flow. Now I'm going to create a record. So we need to create a case. So create case, we need to create one case, then use separate resources and literal. Then here we need to use case. Then first we need to map the status field with status pick list. Then we need to map the origin. So at left hand side, these are case fields. And at right, right hand side, uh, the case, sorry, screen components that we created as pick list that I'm selecting. And if you want to link your case with account, so on case, we have account ID lookup. So we need to fill it with record ID. Now, after creation of case, if you want to have the newly created case ID, so you need to enable this checkbox and you can store that case ID in a variable. So I'm creating a variable as of like case ID, data type is text and done. So this way through this element case will be created. Now, after creation of case, I need to assign a task to account owner, right? So I need to receive the information of account owner. So what I'm going to do 
I am going to use a get record element. So get account details. Here I am selecting account as object. Now here I need to select the ID equals record ID. And only the first record and automatically store all fields and done. So this element will be fetching all the account related information, but we just need to use the account owner ID. Now here I'm going to use this action. So as I told you, we have two ways to create tasks. So I'm going to show you first way that is create tasks through action. So I'm selecting this action and here I am searching for task. So at bottom, you can see we have a quick action task. So I am selecting it. Now here, create task. Then assign to ID. So we need to assign it to account owner. So get account and here we have owner ID. So I'm searching for that, right? So this will this task will be assigned to the owner of the account. Then we need to fill the due date. So So here I'm going to create new resource as a variable. So here I'm setting MMDDYY. So uh, for example, six slash three slash two zero double two and done. Right, so due date is set here. Then we need to fill the name ID, record ID related to ID. So let's see like uh, if you search object manager and task object. So here you will be having all these things. So we need to see name ID. So here, if you scroll. Okay, name ID is not available here. Uh, related record ID. Yeah. So this will be your K uh, related record ID will be your account. So we can write record ID, right? So related record ID. So if, if I see here related to and uh, related to ID. Okay, let's go there on the UI so that we can identify it clearly. So if you go here and create new tasks, so here you can see related to means account and assigned to. So actually we need to fill related to and assigned to. So assigned to what we already filled and uh, related record ID is already set. Then we can set the status so status like not started in progress so let me search oh, these are not available okay so right now i am not selecting any status instead i am putting a subject so i am creating a resource data type text and here default value I'm setting as follow-up tasks. So this will be used here and I'm clicking on done. So this way I use this create task action. So uh, I just filled assigned to due date related record ID and all. So now I'm going to save it. So flow is like create a task upon case creation. I'm saving it clicking on activate, moving to account record page, and I'm going to edit the account page. So I'm just removing this flow from here, dragging and dropping it 
And from here, I'm going to select create a task upon case creation, saving it. Moving back. So here you can see uh, this flow is available. So I'm just selecting some values. So you can see there is no task on this account. So I'm clicking on next. Okay, and unhandled error. So basically there is some error. So let's check the email so that we can identify the error. So it is saying missing required input parameter owner ID. So, okay. So basically what I forgot, like I just didn't enable that checkbox while I place the flow on the record page. So I just need to enable this checkbox so that the record ID of the account should be passed inside the flow. So I just saved it again, moving back. Again, I'm going to create a case. So this time it is created. Here you can see the cases available. Now, if I go to account, okay. So if I go here, so under activity, you can see your follow-up task is also created. So if I open this, so it is assigned to the account owner. So if we go to account, so account owner is Sanjay Gupta. So here you can see if I open the follow-up task, so it is assigned to Sanjay Gupta. For subject is follow-up task, due date is there, priority is normal, it is populated by default, status is not started by default, then uh, like it is related to account, right? So this way, uh, like if you want to create a follow-up task uh, on particular record, so you can do. So basically uh, in this demonstration, I created this follow-up task on uh, account to assign it to account owner. If you want to uh, create this task on case, so that is also possible. So in that case, what you need to do instead of passing this record ID here, you can pass the case ID, which we received after the case creation. So this is also possible. Right. So this way, like when I, when we created this element, so we use this case ID, so you will be able to use that. And in that case, if you go to your case, like if you open any case, so on cases also in the related list, you will see not in the related list. So here activity component is not available. So basically uh, we need to add task and events here so that those will be used. So how you can do that? You just need to add it the page. And here is the activity component. So you can directly drag and drop it. Okay, so basically what we can do, we can have a tab here. Name this activity done. Now under this activities, we can place it. Then you can move back. Now on case, you can see this activity is available, right? So if you create anything, so that will be available here in related to task and event, right? So now I'm going to update the flow so we have one more way, like how to create task uh, through record element. So I'm just going to remove this. And I'm going to have this create record element. So here I'm labeling it as create task one, use separate resources. So object will be task. Now here we need to fill all the required fields, right? So we need to fill assigned to. So assigned to will be get account dot owner ID. Then due date. So we created a date variable. So I am no, yeah, due date only. Then next we need to set related to. So here I am setting record ID. So it will be related to account then we need to populate subject so we created a variable subject so this way it will be populated 
So after setting all these information, owner ID, due date, what ID and subject, you just need to click on done, save as, save and activate. So the flow is already available on account. So I'm moving to account record. This time I'm opening a separate account where case is not available and there is no task created. So I'm going to create new case. So you can see case is created and here you can see follow-up task is also created, right? So this way I showed you two different ways to create a task upon case creation on account. So first is through action and second way is to uh, through create record element.